It Happened on the Way to War by Ry Barka. So this is a book that I wrote over the course of nine years, and it's about two experiences that some people see as contradictory. Waging peace while fighting war. It's a book about social entrepreneurship in one of the larger slum communities in Nairobi, Kenya, while also serving as a Marine in combat. And what I'm going to read is an excerpt from the summer of 2000. It's an excerpt that includes one of the main protagonists and a person who became very special in my life, a woman named Tabitha Festo, who lived in this community on the outskirts of Nairobi, Kenya, in a 10 by 10 foot shack with her three kids. Uh, She was a widowed nurse. And this is an excerpt where she confronts me at the end of the summer and asks me for just $26, 26 dollars, 2,000 shillings. I had made a habit of not giving out money in Kibera, but, but she had a plan, and there was conviction in her voice, and I was leaving the next day. And so I handed her the money, the 26 dollars. She later took that money, invested it in a vegetable selling vi- business for about six months, and then collected her savings, which was a total of about 100 dollars. And with that saving, she pursued her dream and built a small clinic out of her 10 by 10. Today, that clinic treats over 40,000 patients a year. And this is where it began. I had purchased 11 congas, colorful wraps, as gifts for friends in the United States. The brightly colored sheets with Swahili aphorisms were used as dresses, sachets, baby wraps, wall decorations, and room dividers. I reached into my bag and handed one to Tabitha. The Congo was deep purple with bright orange splashes and crisscrossing black and white lines. Tabitha unfolded it and held it in front of her, inspecting its rich colors and crisp texture. She gasped as she read its aphorism, which was in a deep Swahili that I didn't understand until she translated it. Mawingu ya dunia ufawike wajane. The clouds of the earth cover the widows. It is a lesson, Tabitha explained. When you have a husband, people respect you. If your husband dies, you're looked down upon. People start hating you. And you know, you are not the one who killed him. If you're married, you have a cover. Even if you have a husband who is abnormal, you you have that cover. And so now this kanga, it's telling me that my cover is in fact the clouds of heaven. Oh, I think it's a good day for me. Tabitha refolded the kanga with great care, reminding me of my military color guard detail in college when we slowly lowered our flag and folded it into a tight triangle for the night's watch. It was a good day, and I admired Tabitha. I doubted that I could live with such strength and dignity if I found myself in Kibera, alone, with no job and three children. We shook hands. Tabitha didn't seem to be the hugging type. She walked me to a hill overlooking a portion of Kibera's sea of rusted tin roofs. We parted ways. When I looked back, she was standing on the hill with her hands folded behind her back like a sentinel. I didn't know if I would ever see Tabitha again or what would become of the $26. Uh